Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really well. So today we're going to be unboxing the Scarlet Witch from the Multiverse of Madness. And this is a Marvel Legend. It's my first ever Marvel Legend and I got it from Target as you can see. It only took like a few days to get here. So let's crack it open. Okay, look at that. We already have some nice packaging going on. So that's good. Okay, let's take it out. And there she is in all her evil-ish glory. Really cool box. Let's look at the box here and we will zoom in a bit so you guys can see it a bit better. Okay, so here is the box. We have, of course, Elizabeth Olsen on it and it says Scarlet Witch. Looks like we have some design back here. Be maybe some runes is what I'm thinking. There's her face. And guys, I loved Elizabeth Olsen's acting in this movie. I really think it was some of her like best performance I've ever seen on screen. I know the movie wasn't everybody's favorite, but I just think she did such a great job. There she is on this side. And there is the figure on that side. And it says Marvel Legends series. So here's the back of it. This is what comes inside of it. And we see the dark hold and we see her magic red powers that she gives off whenever she's using her powers. To say, I really wanted this figure because she has the dark hold, she's wearing the dark outfit, and I just thought it looked so cool, even if it is like <laughs> a little figure. So yeah, let's open it. I'm so excited, guys. There's some tape on it here. Here we go. Should just probably slide out at this point. Okay, wow, very nice packaging. My first time ever buying a Marvel Legend, and I have to say, very good job. I just realized I have this cut on my finger. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna put a Band-Aid on. <laughs> Covered it up so you don't have to see the ugly cut anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I really did not notice. Um, I cut my finger last night and totally forgot about it. Just looks like a warning label. Now let's take her out. Looks like you just go like that. Okay. Put her here. We're gonna zoom in a little bit more just so we can have more detail of the Scarlet Witch. Okay guys, so now we're going to take the plastic off the figure. Looks like she just slides out here. Wow. I'm already so, so impressed. <laughs> we're gonna take this off. The likeliness of Elizabeth Olsen is actually quite shocking. So let's put her down here for a second. So I wanna make sure she is in focus. Okay guys, so here she is. Please try to ignore my ugly band-aid. <laughs> but wow, I'm actually so shocked at the likeliness of Elizabeth Olsen's face on this figure. Like that really does look like her. They really killed it. I mean, down to the cape and her entire outfit and they did the fingertips black. That was one thing. I had the Scarlet Witch Funko over here. I'll grab her a second. This was one of my first Funkos. And one thing I really wanted was her to have black fingertips because that's part of being a witch. It's like they're casting spells and I just, I love this. They, they really did a great job on her hands, everything. And even the motion of the hands, that's what she does when she's about to like cast, you know, a spell. So really great job. Her hair looks great. Now we're gonna turn it around. The cape looks amazing. It's dark just like it is in the films. And guys, I'm actually so impressed. This is a $25 figure and wasn't sure how it was gonna be, but I really am impressed by it. So here is the other side of her and you can see her hair kind of parts here and then goes in the back. And then I love, love the, the, the dress slash cape that, that she put on. It looks like she's just standing there and it's kind of flowing a bit. So they made it look like that and they really did a great job. So her torso piece looks amazing. This looks amazing. So the outfit really resembles the one in the films. And again, the likeliness of Elizabeth Olsen's face here is incredible. Of course, she has the Scarlet Witch headpiece on. So at the bottom here, we have two holes in the feet. So I'm wondering if there are stands for these. I'll have to see. But you also can adjust the figure to your liking, I believe. I don't want to like break it, but so you can kind of move the figure around if you'd like to take photos. And of course, I'm going to take photos with her because that's actually why I wanted to buy her because I wanted something different to take photos with other than Funkos and a bit of replicas. So she'll be awesome to take photos with. And here we can kind of move her arms like this a bit, like casting more of a spell, right? Kind of creepy, but and of course, we're going to put the dark hold 
in our hands. So let's open up the dark hold. I'm so excited. Am I going to start buying these now? Probably, guys. <laughs> I was not expecting that, like such great detail. Very, very cool. Okay, the dark hold doesn't want to come out. Probably for good reason. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. And then there is her pieces that you can put on her arms, which we will do. So there you go. It's two pieces. Here is the dark hold. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. It's all like blackened too. That is crazy. Let's actually, let me look for a second. So it looks as though there's some like spells going on in this book. And of course some dark magic. But wow, they did such a good job on the dark hold as well. Even the front of it. That is so, so cool. Of course, I'll put like a side-by-side -side image of it just so you can see in better detail. Like, like a phone video or something. But And now we will put all the pieces on. Okay, this is definitely this piece. Wow. Look at this, guys. This is insanity. I don't know. I've never had a Marvel Legend before, so this is really different. Let me see if I could... If you, she can hold the dark hold. I don't know if she can. So here she is, guys. The Scarlet Witch casting her spell. And wow. They knocked it out of the park with this figure. I still cannot get over it. I think she looks so, so cool. She's going to look great taking photos. And that's really why I bought her. Just to see if I could take photos with her and maybe edit something, you know. So they really nailed almost every detail of the Scarlet Witch. Even her outfit. Even her belt down here is like pretty accurate. The dress slash cape, whatever you want to call it, really, they, I love that part of it. I think it's my favorite part because it looks like it's actually kind of swaying in the wind a bit. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, but that's how it looks. And then even the pieces you get to put on the Scarlet Witch of her magic is insane. This has to be by far one of my favorite figures, I feel. And the fact it was only like 25 bucks, all the better. So I know my thumb is probably bothering people. I'm so sorry, but... So here she is, and then here is the dark hold. If we could get her to hold the dark hold somehow, that would be cool. I don't know if we can though. We could try. Oh wow, somehow we got it in her hands. <laughs> okay, so there is the Scarlet Witch holding the dark hold. We did it. I don't know how I did this, but she's somehow holding it. And yeah, she's about to cast her spell. But guys, I actually, like I said, I loved Elizabeth Olsen's performance in Multiverse of Madness. So there is the Scarlet Witch, guys, and she looks incredible. I love her. Can't wait to take photos. So if you love the Scarlet Witch, I would highly recommend this item. This video is not sponsored or anything. I bought this and I really genuinely love it. When I unbox things, I give my first reaction and yeah, I'm highly impressed with the detail on this figure. I think it's incredible and even the dark hold. So they really killed it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. Like, comment, whatever you wish to do. And I hope to see you in my next one. And let me know your thoughts on this figure down below. Bye now.